Yo. Yo, yo, yo. What it do? Um, got a lot of shit I gotta get off my chest, man. Got a lot of shit I need to get off my chest, man. I'm gonna I'm go in. It's a, it's a light Sunday. It's a light Sunday, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna address a few things that I need to to, to to go in on. So let me just go ahead and get started. Anybody who missed it, obviously can go and catch the playback. Um, so a few hours ago, I posted something that was an extension of a Facebook discussion that I was having. Right. So let me first preface this by saying. The conversation that we were having on Facebook was in regards to an article about Serena Williams. So Serena Williams was basically saying, this is an old article, by the way, but somebody just reposted it and people were commenting on it. But Serena Williams said that her white man, um, her husband, had treated her better than any black man, uh, period. So she just said her white husband had treated her better than any black all right, so a lot of sisters were defending that by saying, well, hey, that's her, her opinion, that's her experience, you know, she has, uh, she has the freedom to talk about her uh, decision, right? And we, and we brought up that point, obviously, uh, Raw. Uh, you know, a lot of the brothers were saying, well, one, why did you even have to compare him to to?" Black men. You could have just said, my husband treated me better than any man I've ever been with. You didn't have to specifically say black men, because she had dated white men in the past. Don't get a twist. She had had, she has had white boyfriends in the past. Um, and a lot of those black boyfriends she had, you know, she dated Amari Stoudemire, basketball player. She dated, uh, that dude from the, from the Redskins. I forgot his name. LeVar Arrington. She dated LeVar Arrington, football player. She dated Common. She, she dated Drake. You know, so a lot of black women were saying, well, you know, black men weren't even really into her because, you know, we called her manly or some shit like that, which is not true, by the way. There's, you know, the fact that she dated so many athletes and entertainers shows you that that can't be true, right? There's no other black woman in history, a woman, period, in history that people do not find attractive, yet she's dating all types of athletes and entertainers. That It, it don't work that way. She was on the cover of Black Men's Magazine. But yet people are saying that black men were not into her, which doesn't make sense, right? So, so we were, we were going in and we were, we were debating and one woman posted something where she said, uh, something along the lines, uh, well, she did say that. She, she specifically, the quote was, a lot of people have taken her quote, quote out of context to say that white men treat black men better or white, white men treat black women better, right? So a lot of people took it out of context text and generalize it. What she specifically said was uh, her husband had has treated her better than any black man she's ever been with. She specifically said those words, right? Which indirectly is saying that white men treat black women better. She might not have said it, but that's indirectly saying that. But by even adding a racial context to it, you're specifically comparing him to black men, and that is the assertion that you're trying to make, right? So, boom. <clears throat> so this one sister posted something, and she said something along the lines of, and I posted it, it's on my page. She said something along the lines of, you know, whatever, black men always hating on black women. That's common, right? That's, most black women say that shit. And then um, she, she got to a point where she was saying, and then you guys want us to protest for y'all. Well, I'm not protesting. Now, this is not the first time I've heard this. I've heard it quite a few times. And every time I ignore it, right? Because when something is so utterly ridiculous, sometimes you don't really want to give it any 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 validation by addressing it, right? But I'm 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 seeing it so much more often, and I was like, hmm, that's interesting, right? It's interesting that there's women who feel like that 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 one by protesting the state sanctioned execution of an innocent black man you are now somehow doing something beneficial exclusively for black men right 
So that would almost be akin to saying that, oh, if I go out and protest or march for women's right to vote, then I'm doing women a favor, right? But here's the thing. One, this is what we need, really need to address because even in when I reposted it, I saw a lot of women, black women, agreeing with it. Like, like hey, I see her point. So let's, one, let's, let's, let's unpack that since a lot of y'all see her point. So let's unpack it. One, and this is very important, black men are not the only people being killed by race soldiers, a.k.a. state and local law enforcement. That's number one. So black men are not the only ones that this is happening to, okay? I.e. Rakia Boyd, uh, Sandra Bland, Etc. Etc. Number two, protesting really isn't doing anything. So all the protests that these black women have been doing, and I congratulate you for standing out on the front lines for being vocal about it. Uh, I applaud that. But the protesting isn't actually stopping it. It ain't like the shit was going on, and then black women started protesting, and then. It disappeared, never to be heard from again. It's still happening. So the fact that you're protesting about it isn't, isn't actually reducing it and like sparing my life. So now I need to be grateful to you. Okay. Number three, there are black men that are out there protesting as well. So if no black woman ever went out and protested again for the unarmed killing of an innocent black man, there would still be black men out there protesting for the same thing. So it's not like it's something that you guys are doing that we couldn't do. So somehow you were providing us a favor because now you're doing something that we otherwise couldn't have done, right? So those three things in, in account. So when we take into account those three things, one, protesting really ain't even doing shit. So you're not really benefiting us. No way you don't. No, uh, no, how two black women are also being killed by police and three black men march too. So it ain't something that we couldn't do by ourselves. All that aside, why is it the bigger problem that I have with that statement is why is it that you feel that doing something for a black man needs to be lauded or applauded? Like, do you not think that helping black men is somehow indirectly helping you also? I mean, if you're a black woman and you go out here and have children, there's a 50-50 chance that one of those children or one of those kids is going to be a black male. And that black male is going to now go out in the world. So how is it that you remove yourself from the situation so much to the point that you think protesting for the unarmed, killers, unarmed innocent killing of a black person is somehow doing them a favor. Like, you are removed from the situation. Like, this has nothing to do with you. Like, I'm just going to go out here and march to help these, group, these other groups of people over here. How does that even make sense? And how does it even make sense that women are, black women are condoning this? Like, black women are are finding some way to condone her statements by saying, yeah, I agree, we always on the front line for y'all, but y'all ain't, ain't ever on the front line for us. That's not true. I have never in my life seen this, a, a situation where something has happened to a black woman and black men said or did nothing. I've never seen that. The, the incident where the girl was in, in Waffle House, two black men, Jay Morris and uh, T.I., were on the front lines of that situation. Two black men, right? So I've never seen a situation where something unjust has happened to a black woman and black men were not vocal about it. I've never seen that. But again, this is the narrative, which brings me to my bigger point and my bigger beef, okay? Going forward, I'm going to be very, very vigilant against these women who always cry black male bashing. 